I am so tired of hearing about this obsession with hair texture. I got something that's much more important. So whether you're a newbie to natural hair or a veteran, I'm sure you've heard plenty of people obsess over their hair texture. And who can blame them? I used to do the same thing. But it's not the end all be all. When it comes down to how products work in your hair, it actually has a lot less to do with your texture and a lot more to do with your porosity. What? What the heck is hair porosity? Simply put, it's the hair's ability to absorb moisture. Each strand has cuticles that are similar to shingles on a roof, and the way that they're structured dictates how your hair absorbs moisture. To test your porosity, fill up a cup of water and gently place a strand of product-free hair on top of it. Then let it sit for five minutes. If the strand is still ice skating on top of the water, you are low porosity. If it's floating somewhere in the middle, you're normal porosity. And if it's sunken to the very bottom, you're high porosity. Okay. So what does all this mean? I'll break down the three types in just a second. Okay, so first up is low porosity. Low porosity has cuticles that are tightly closed. So it's difficult for moisture to get in, but once, once moisture is in, it's difficult for it to get out. You can kind of relate it to being a kid back in the day and running in and out of the house, and then you got somebody who's just like, Hey! Now y'all can't be running in and out of my house like that. Running up my heat bill. This Either you stay in here or you stay out. It's kind of like that. Either you're in or you're out. Ain't no in between. Mm-hmm. So normal porosity has slightly raised cuticles, which enables moisture to get in very easily, and actually keeps it in pretty well too. You can kind of compare this to having a super laid back parent that really doesn't mind. Oh, hey guys. You know if you want to run in and out of here, you know it's completely fine. You can stay in, stay out, and the world is yours. You can pretty much just come and go as you please. Have fun. Break some windows. To be honest with you, I don't know anybody who's normal porosity, and quite frankly, I don't think they exist. So high porosity has cuticles that are even more raised. Is that is that is that the technical term? They're high, they're not up, but they're they're really raised. This enables moisture to get in super easy, but it also comes out just as easily. This can be comparable to kids running through a revolving door, or there is no door, or a parent for that matter. They can just come and go as they please. Each porosity has different needs. That's why it's really important to figure out what your porosity is. So if you're low porosity, you want to go towards products that will help open up your cuticles. So you want to look at things like hair milks, which will help open up your cuticles to allow more moisture in. But it's more important to use heat while you deep condition if you're low porosity, because that's really when you're going to lock in the most moisture because you're going to force those cuticles to be open and then they'll shut back on their own. Now. Normal porosity, they can do whatever they want. I mean, everything will penetrate and your hair will lock in the moisture. I'm not salty. I'm not salty. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm sure there's products. I'm sure there's products that your hair may or may not like, but when it comes to making sure your cuticles are open to receive the moisture, you won't really have a problem. I'm not salty. I'm not. So if you have high porosity, you'll want to make sure that you close your cuticles after you apply your moisture. Otherwise, it's just gonna run in and out of that revolving door. Aloe vera juice is wonderful for that. Or you could use any type of leave-in conditioner. My personal favorite is Kinky Curly, not today. So did any of you guys take the porosity test? Let me know what team you're on down in the comments, especially if you're one of those unicorns. I need to know that y'all exist. Aw, oh, what you mad that I made a whole video without you? Oh, you ain't hungry no more? <laughs> she mad. <laughs>